Okay. Uh, before I do anything, I uh, I want to go and head back to the. Uh... What the King uh, Kmar was waiting for a, a report on what happened at the shrine. Let's put a hold on any adventures until we've uh, met with the king. Really? Oh, I really wanted to go back to the uh, to the shrine again. I wanted to go to the ba back to the shrine again and check that uh, uh, if I can pick up something from uh, yeah from. Uh, From uh, from the monster that I defeated, uh, it's probably I'm gonna find something that would would, uh, would help me finish uh, this uh, quest. Uh huh. Eh, whatever. Anywho, let's go ahead and read about the uh, the enemies uh, here, the enemies that we faced so far. Zona. Captured and trained for use in the Colosseum. Used primarily for new recruits due to its obedient nature. Uh, golf. Captured and trained for use in the Colosseum. Used primarily to measure the strength of challengers. Clue. Huh. Oh, maybe uh, this game is actually uh, similar to, uh, to the... I think it's similar to uh, East Origin, where uh, more info about the enemy will uh, will show up uh, after you kill uh, multiple, uh, you know, multi, you know, kill the, uh, the you know, certain, uh, the same enemy uh, multiple times, probably 20, 30, or whatever. Small monster that inhibits the area near Algado City uses the uh, its tail as a weapon, but uh, a bit too eagerly. Nagel Molluscoid? Molluscoid that inhabits the plains. Molluscoid? What the hell is a molluscoid? Maluscoid. It requires no prey, so it absorbs uh, nu uh, nutrients uh, directly from the soil. Why the hell are, uh, is it attacking us, though? Well, actually, we are the one that's, that's attacking it. And, uh, Degrafen, Degrafen, what, what is that, is that German? A uh, shield monster with a hammer-like tail, often hunted by the Dragon Knights due to its tendency to attack humans. We also faced a boss, which I'm gonna assume that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be here. Valklar. A giant monster that inhibits uh, the Shrine of Origins. Its crystallized uh, shell is filled with spiritual energy. Interesting. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, let's go ahead and uh, actually go around the town and talk to people a little bit before we go to, to report back to the king. War hasn't been over long enough for the shop to stop stocking weapons. I really wish they uh, would, though. Would it kill them to sell uh, some cute clothes around here? And this lady is still crazy about clothes. I don't really care if the weapons of Altago are supposed to be the best. The war's over! Stock some clothes! <laughs> Prices of goods uh, from other villages are on the rise lately. I hear I hear the uh, Longma cart is charging more money now because of all the monsters. What a sad state of affairs. Uh, prices for goods uh, from the other villages are on the rise because of the monsters. I miss the good old days. Uh, oh, there's also the moon crest here. I should have got three, six, nine, ten. So I'm gonna be able to pick uh, ten seals, huh? Uh, moon seal, power of the shrine of origins, grant use of extra skills. Hmm, interesting. 
me go ahead and head down here. Hmm, nothing uh, new here. I hear the goods that were uh, on hold to the war have finally begun shipping. I'm sure there will be more weapons and armor on display soon, too. The once empty shelves of the shops will be filled eventually. And when they are, I'll be there to buy them up. Oh, who the hell are you? Amaya always comes here to sell flowers whenever a new ship arrives at the harbor. But most of the people here are merchants, and merchants as a rule are not very into flowers. Alright, oh, uh, you lot came in uh, from the harbor, no? Did you buy any flowers uh, from Maya on your way into town? We did. We actually did. After the war with the Rom ended, foreigner foreigners began powering into Altago in droves. A lot of them are merchants, but they uh, dirty the city as if it were a garbage uh, receptacle. Huh? Really? I'll be watching you too. Oh god. Oh, because he's a patriotic man, of course, of course. With the war over, I'm sure there will be a market boom, but at what cost uh, to the city's uh, sanitation? I keep the, uh, the city clean. I keep your, uh, your roads clean too. Clean from monsters. The ship you guys arrived on uh, on uh, left the harbor just now. The captain had a message for you. Be sure you stay out of trouble. Well, I guess we're stuck here forever. Feels bad, man. Uh, the captain's got a message for you. Be sure you stay out of trouble. What are you go What are you guys up to? Oh, he really is. Uh, he did leave, huh? I hear once you hit the main roads, there are monsters, uh, uh, there are monsters galler. But here, in the harbor, all is good. The waters around Altago are calm, so merchants can use uh, the established trade routes without any fear. The Dragon Knights watch our backs for, ro for Roman ships and pirates. And monsters? Not many of them around here. And no sea monsters? At all? What the hell, this dog is absolutely ugly. Ugh. A small earthquake hit us a little while ago. Did you feel it? Altago hasn't had an earthquake in I don't know even how many years. It shook me up in more ways than one. Earthquakes are extremely rare in Altago, so that last one scared the, the crap out of me. Literally, you mean? <laughs> I'm glad that you've got off okay. Traffic in uh, and out of the harbor always makes me nervous. It hasn't been that long since the war ended, you know? The Roman Altaginian War lasted a whole ten years and only ended six months ago. I think we're all still on edge. The Dragon Knight's Naval Division is patrolling all the trade routes, uh, though, so I guess we're pretty safe. Can't really blame him. I mean, the war with the uh, with Roman uh, did last ten years, ten whole years, and only just ended half a year ago. Damn. The Guinean and Roman uh, Empire don't like each other, huh? Entrepreneurial uh, types, uh, entrepreneurial types, uh, come here from all over the world. Hoping to strike it rich in the Pearl of the Meadow Sea. Altago's commerce laws promote trade. And uh, with, with all its natural resources, it's no wonder they all come here. Natural resources? What kind of resources do you actually have here? Many merchants come to Altago because uh, its uh, mineral are rich uh, and its taxes are low. Altago is a merchant's dream. 
Hmm, so merchants don't get taxed a lot. Why are everyone here, uh... You know. Why most people here are uh, miserable, though? Well, take not most people. They gotta be, gotta be fair. Only the people from all town were uh, miserable. Mm, let's talk to these people. Haha, uh -huh. you defeated uh, a Titano? He had me going there. Even the Dragon Knights have trouble facing Titanus. Like I'd believe you, uh, like I'd believe you actually succeeded. I did, though. I'd like to see these Titanos that even the Dragon Knights have trouble taking down. They're huge! The white flower that the young lady sells uh, is apparently called the uh, Selene flower. I'm told its scent, its scent can calm the heart and even help you sleep if you keep it in your bedroom. Hmm, interesting. The white flower that the young lady sells is called uh, a Celine flower. It has calming properties. Like Anesty? Zanzibar is uh, just shameless. What a despicable man. If he has no plans to do business with the common folk, then he shouldn't have set up shop in the public square. I mean, he's free to sell whatever he wants. Zanzibar only makes time for the rich and the nobility. It's so disgusting! Uh, I can't take watching those Dragon Knights, uh, knights acting all high and mighty. I don't care uh, what heroic deeds they did. They could learn a thing or two about civility from Commander Shias. I don't care if they drove the Roman, uh, r the Roman Empire back. Captain Broad's attitude is just too much. He's rotten to the core. Nobody, nobody likes uh, rot. Even when people from Old Town open up a business in the square, things don't go so well. So considering, I think that flower girl is doing pretty well. Though I doubt flowers are very profitable. Yeah, they don't seem so. People from Old Town don't do well when they set up shop in the, car, but, uh, in the square, but the flower girl seems to be doing alright. Well, she also uh, has uh, medicine and whatnot. Uh huh. You're new. I've never seen you before. Mysterious girl. Hmm. Looks like I finally lost her. Sorry, Sigrun, but I've got something I need to do. Mumble mumble. What's up with that girl? She's uh, dressed kind of weird. Hmm. Mumble mumble. First I need to gather information. Maybe I'll check the main street. Huh. Well, she is uh, interesting. She's not gonna interact with us. Huh. I'm sure she's not gonna be an important character at all. I'm sure of that. <laughs> Devoted old man. Uh, after the new uh, head priest was appointed, the uh, Trithis temple in the city changed. Maybe it's because he comes from a noble background. I don't know, but I just don't like him. Terrorism was much better when the former head priest was here. The former head priest was a true man of virtue, who never asked, who never asked for payment even uh, for his medicine. I hear he was uh, despised by greedy merchants and government officials, but we commoners uh, respected him. Hmm. When I bought a flower last time, the flower lady gave me another one for free. She's so nice! It looks like the flower lady hasn't visited yet today. I wonder when she'll come... Zanzibar firm is here, right? Resting old woman, huh? I heard they have medicine here that can cure my husband. I guess I'll go in and ask. This really is a big store. I wonder if they really have the medicine that can cure my husband. What kind of... Uh, what 
kind of disease does your uh, husband have? Huh? There's a handling uh, fee for uh, renting a ship? That's no good. It's gonna cut into my profits. This ship is used to transport cargo. Charging a modest uh, handling fee is to, to be expected. The handling fee to rent a ship is uh, this much. I already purchased everything. I guess I have no choice but to accept their conditions. Damn, hidden fee, hidden fees, huh? It seems this is the first time uh, this gentleman has conducted business with us. Well, we will be making quite a bit of profit, of course. It seems this is the first time this gentleman has conducted business. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome to the number one business in all Altago, Zanzibar Firm. Master has expanded his business by doing whatever was necessary. Uh, he must have done many uh, terrible deeds to get his firm uh, this large, but it doesn't uh, seem to weigh on his conscience anyway. His passion for money is uh, commendable. Oh. <laughs> to master, justice is to expand and be more uh, prosperous. His passion is commendable. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Uh, brings good luck. Makes it easier to acquire rare items. Oh, I guess it's, it is actually good. Once owned by a legendary thief, monsters drop more money. Oh. Alus Urn. Pull, uh, pulls dropped items on money toward you from afar. Oh, that that's actually uh, kind of essential. <laughs> Mirror of time. Makes enemy immobile and breaks after one use. Oh. Thank you, come again. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a lot of money. A dirty old woman is standing in front of our store. I bet uh, I better do something about her, or she'll drive away our precious customers. Dirty old woman is standing in front of the store. She's getting in the way of business. Oh, you'll do. Shoo off that old uh, woman for me, won't you? I don't care how. I mean, will you pay me? Oh, you're actually pushing me around, you son of a... Huh? I've never seen you before. From the looks of it, you must be from your rope. You rope. Uh, do you not know that I only deal with big money? This is no place for you. Get out! Wow. The previous head priest at the temple shoe was annoying. He made medicine and sold them for cheap and directly competed with my expensive foreign medicine. Heh. <laughs> but it's uh, money that makes the world go around. There is nothing money can do. There's no problem that money cannot resolve. Commerce, politics, religion, you name it. Uh, technically... It is true. Can I shoo her? I cannot. No. I tried. Let's sit inside. Maybe they'll talk about the, uh, the old priest. Reverend uh, Dalian was the former head priest at the temple. He was well respected by the people and was a wonderful priest. However, he is no longer here. Hmm, where is he now? Uh, Reverend uh, Dalian was a man of ex uh, exceptional virtue and uh, benevolence, even among uh, uh, clergymen. I hear he is now in Old Town, making medicine for the poor. Perhaps you could pay him a visit. Uh, I came from there. Haven't seen him. Someone did talk about a doctor, though. Uh, thanks to the former head priest's uh, virtue, we have many worshippers that uh, come to give uh, their offerings. How, ir how ironic that his virtue is ensuring the continued existence of the temple only after his explosion. Oh, I have spoken too much. Forget what I just said. I was just uh, talking to myself. <laughs> Are you talking, taking bribes? 
Have you heard of uh, Iskan fever? Iskan fever. It's an in it's an uh, endemic disease that has uh, spread throughout Altago just recently. We'd like to help those affected, but that is uh, proving to be rather difficult. Why is that? As a priest, I wish I could do something about the Iskan, fa uh, Iskan fever. Uh, Iskan fever. But this is uh, one illness I just cannot help with. Do you think people uh, have changed? Uh, actually, have a uh, new dialogue for. Uh... Yeah, this is definitely a new dialogue. Yeah, I thought these uh, people won't have new dialogue, so I guess I'll have to check them out uh, to check uh, to check all of them. That last earthquake certainly caught me by surprise. Earthquakes are very rare in Altago. I don't think anyone around here ever uh, earthquake uh, proofs their houses. Uh, this is no Japan. Earthquakes are quite rare in Altago. I don't know anyone ever built uh, their houses with earthquakes in mind. What other uh, country that actually has a lot of uh, earthquakes? When you're a trader, they say there's nothing quite as important as a firm. Uh, shrewd negotiation. Is a firm shrewd negotiation. Sounds uh, exhausting. I'd best make something that'll give him an extra boost of energy. Whenever work has me uh, feeling tired, I always eat something delicious to get my mind off of it. Works every time. Altago has fought Romna for a long time over trade rights in the Middle Sea, but a treaty was signed six months ago. This suggests to me that the strength of the Dragon Knights has enough to turn the tides of war. I'm thankful we can trade freely. We owe the Dragon Knights a debt of gratitude for their service. This is all thanks to the might of the... Uh Altaginian uh, army? Altaginian army is uh, too strong. Let's uh, go ahead and check this house. Oh, my daughter keeps begging me uh, for rare gems. What should I do? Slap her, of course. <laughs> she says the gems uh, we uh, carry in our shop aren't enough to satisfy her. I swear, having a selfish daughter is raining. Having a selfish daughter can be so draining. That's called spoiled. And uh, spoiled brats, uh, you know, need to meet you at the back of your hand. But then that's uh, that's what uh, make her so lovable. <laughs> well, and uh, that's the problem. The problem uh, uh, resides on you. I saw a hungry child from the old town as I returned from grocery shopping. We live in the same city, yet our lives have taken such different paths. It's almost surreal. Yeah, I can see that. It's a shame. You, uh, you know. You live in the same, uh, in the same country, abide by the same rules, but, uh, somehow uh, people, uh, uh, live harder uh, and harsher lives. They say that ch uh, the children in Old Town sometimes uh, go an entire day without eating even uh, one single meal. The poor things. Yeah, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man? No, I can't. Fuck that cat. Oh, let's talk about it. Yeah. I hate cats. Elegantly gazing at a uh, beautiful gemstone is a luxury only the rich can enjoy. Ah, it's so beautiful. Just as I am. Elegantly gazing at beautiful gemstones? That is the way for a well-bred lady to spend her time. <laughs> if you say so. 
And here I am, you know, wasting my time playing video games. Mm. <laughs> Not that I'm uh, I'm a girl. I don't identif identify as a as a grill. Hmm. Looks like you're uh, playing in, uh, on going somewhere. Now this is not. A... Oh shit! He is actually gonna. Hey there, everything. Oh, I definitely missed all of all that dialogue. I'm sorry, viewers. Maybe I can reset it uh, if I go out. Nah. If you stand still for some time, your health will begin to recover. Yeah, we know that. If you're not injured too badly, you should save your recovery items. Ask about abnormal statuses. Poison, flame... What's flame? Flame is a frightening status where a fire spread to your body. Eventually, the flame engulf your entire body and causes severe damage from burns. You should carry plenty of recovery items just in case that happens to you, because otherwise... Goodbye! Anything else? Let's see... Talk about poison. Poison is, as the name suggests, a status where poison is in your body. Slowing... Uh, slowing... Uh, sl slowly taking away your life. It's not slowing taking. Uh, if you don't treat it quickly, it could uh, spell your demise. If you run into a venomous monster, try your best to avoid its attacks. Anything else? So there is no status, uh, uh, status, uh, you know, items that uh, heal uh, poisons and whatnot. I, I'm gonna assume it is. It's, uh, this game uh, seems like the sort of the of a uh, of, uh, of a game that actually will offer. You know, antidotes and, and the sorts. About Petrify. Petrify is a status that turns your body to stone. Because you're now quite solid, damage from attacks is halved, but you're also more uh, susceptible, susceptible to fatal attacks. You may be able to come out of it uh, faster if you keep trying to move. Anything else? Freeze. Freeze is a status where your body becomes extremely cold and begins to freeze. Because you're encased in ice, any damage you incur will be fatal, since you'll be shattered into pieces. Ugh. The only thing you can do is wait for the ice to melt and hope the monsters nearby all miss. Really? I'm gonna assume there's gonna be something that actually cure all of that. Confuse. Confuse is a status where your body does not move the way you want it to. It's a troublesome condition that causes you to move in a direction completely different from uh, what you had in mind. The only thing you can do is wait until it wears off. Heavy. Heavy is a status where your ability to move is uh, st stifled due to big blobs of uh, mucus all over you. Ew. Or something. You can't move as fast as you normally would. So uh, you become less able to evade enemy attacks. It is best to stay as still as possible and let the enemy uh, come to you instead. Curse. Curse is a status where your attacks are sealed off by uh, a powerful grudge of some sort. I cannot attack? Your body will stiffen up uh, every time you try to swing your weapon. It's quite annoying. It goes without saying that offense, uh, offensive arts can't be used either. So only uh, thing you can, only thing you can do is run. I see. Well, if you're, uh, if you are ever seeking some words of wisdom, eh, hopefully I'll do. You know where to find me. Welcome. Hey, welcome. We have plenty of recovery medicine on other items. You see something you want? Just uh, say the word. Let's talk. Take my advice. If you ever get hurt uh, badly, uh, quit whenever it is. Uh, quit whatever it is you're doing and uh, tend to those wounds. Only fools think they are special. That nothing bad will ever happen to them. Uh, they are the ones that die young too. Don't look like. Don't neglect treating any wounds, unless you want to die young, that is. Hmm. 
Oh, now I can synth synthesize uh, things, huh? Monster height. This is a new weapon for, uh, goddamn, uh, goddamn. Oh. Oh. Who drops? Who drops iron ore? Uh, I don't. I don't think uh, anyone uh, anyone drops iron ore. I'll be finding it in the wild. Oh boy. Oh boy. Madly extract recovers HP of the user by five hundred. Oh. So I'll be able to to make these two weapons for uh, for these guys. Uh, Soon, I had to go out just to obtain a single uh, bone fragment from one of the enemies. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Mid selector crash on impact increase stun rate by one. Oh, petrify enemies. Oh, gravity ring inflict heavy. A jewel infused with the uh, dragon energy cuts SP used by uh, fourth. By one fourth. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I need to pay money in addition to to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the materials. That sucks. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'll definitely come back here when I'll be able to actually, you know, head back out again. Welcome. This is the weapon shop. We have many a blunt object. Yeah, we've read that before. Skill are born of the same arts that allow synthesis. I don't know the details, but apparently all equipment made in Altago has dragon energy in it. Skills are a necessity when facing strong monsters. You should use them as often as you can. Skills are effective against monsters. <laughs> uh, this is uh, similar to the tip, uh, you know. Uh, shoot enemies to inflict damage at them. <laughs> You should use them as often as you can. Uh, the game is trying to tell you that you should uh, use your skills as, as much as possible so you can learn them faster. Mm, I'm definitely gonna be uh, gonna be buying all of these later. I can afford these. Definitely. I'm not gonna buy anything uh, yet, though, viewers. I'm, uh, I'm gonna wait until I uh, finish talking to the king. Mm. Did I talk to you? Yeah, we did talk to you. We definitely did talk to you as well, uh, but uh, did we talk to the people in inside here? Yeah, we did, we did, we did. Yes, I remember now. Alright, so uh, that should be it for now. We explored every possible... Uh, Nook and cranny, well, except uh, for exploring the. Uh, where will. Uh, this will lead to the Coliseum. We didn't uh, actually go back to the Coliseum. So let's go ahead and. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the Coliseum first before we head to the King. Open event will happen at the Coliseum soon. The energy and tension in the air. I just love being a, a part of it all. There are no martial uh, events planned at the moment. Sorry if you were looking forward to watching one. I can't wait for the next event at the Coliseum. There are no martial events planned at the moment, too bad. Dragon Knights are training right now. I wasn't expecting them to come here today though. I wonder if they are Commander Shia's men. 
The Dragon Knights are training right now. As the uh, protectors of Altago, I imagine they are ex uh, expected to train very hard. Hello, Waifu? You took down a Titano, huh? I can tell you're not lying. That smell of blood on you, it's a uh, char characteristic of strong monsters, typically Titanus. Still, even an entire platoon of Dragon Knights can barely take a Titano down. Not bad. You guys actually defeated the Titano with just uh, the two of you, huh? Not bad. Why did you come work for me? We could always use people like you. How about uh, how about it? I mean, uh, what's the pay? I'm down. There haven't been any events planned here for some time. Just between you and me, I hear His Majesty is very ill and not feeling well. Huh? Is that so? He didn't seem... He didn't seem sick, though. Would like more work, but it's not uh, in the cards at the moment. That's why there haven't been any official events here lately. Hmm. Let's go ahead and check the area. To the left. Okay. What up, fool? The Colosseum is being used for training by the Dragon Knights. That means you should leave. Civilian may not enter. Step away. Yeah, bite me. Well, I guess I cannot enter. Civilians may not enter. Step away. What's with the dots? Those Dragon Knights just show up uh, out of nowhere and start training. Why is she angry? There's such a thing, uh, there's such a thing as uh, preparations, you know? Damn it! I'll give them a, an earful later. And the, uh, they are the authority, and they are above the law. Well, kinda. Well, there's uh, there are priority. They're uh, the uh, goddamn army. Why are the dragon knights allowed to use the place like their own backyard? That's just not right. Haha. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? The dragon knights coming here uh, to train is a good thing. Just imagine yourself as the guard uh, of jail cells that are never used. You'd go mad. Quite mad. If no one uh, were to come to breathe some energy into the Colosseum from time to time, you'd go crazy! I did! <laughs> Wouldn't it be better if they just came uh, to train here all the time? And double as, as our security? Miss Orsa has allowed it. There's no need to get uh, irritated. Uh, that girl is irate! And she's gonna suck it, I guess. Well, I guess that's that uh, for now. Hold on. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, I guess, uh... That's it for now. I guess, uh... The only thing that we need to do now is go ahead and, uh... Check out the king. I'm gonna talk to the people in the palace before I actually uh, talk to the king. It's almost never uh, heard uh, for civilians, foreigners no less, to be allowed to enter the palace freely. We don't uh, want any strange rumors going around, so please exercise uh, discretion when entering the palace. Regular citizens aren't allowed in the palace, let alone foreigners, so please exercise discretion. <sighs> How many times is it now that uh, the princess has uh, run away from the palace? Just what is uh, Sigrun doing? Who the hell is Sigrun? Ah, it's you. If you're going to meet hi with his majesty, keep it short. If you're meeting with his majesty, keep it brief. He's, very bu he's a very busy man, after all. A princess that, he's, that you say, huh? Hmm. 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 All right. Let's head him. Uh, let's get a move on. Ooh, is this Sigrun? Ooh, hello, Knight. Hmm. Aren't you? 
You're the foreigners that recently visited the palace, no? You look suspicious. <laughs> Excuse me. Soon be around. Uh, stay out of our way, okay? We're really busy here. Busy with what? I wonder where uh, Princess Aisha ran off to. Princess Aisha? How in the world does she keep sneaking out uh, through such tight security? I'm sure she'll uh, be back though, she always uh, comes back, but until then... Mumble mumble. Sigrun, what a weird name. I hear Commander Rod's men sometimes go out to do whatever they want as if they are untouchable. Damn, even, even these guys don't like him, huh? They even harass innocent citizens for fun. They are a menace. I'd love to knock some sense into Rod's uh, good-for-nothing uh, flunkies uh, one of these days. Low lives that they are. Low, low lives that they are. Damn. Nobody's a fan of uh, Rod, huh? The one of the Dragon Knights are expected to wield the bow and arrow at the least. Uh, Sigrun's skill with the bow is especially good. Exceptional, really. Huh. Is that so? Even among the female Dragon Knights, Sigrun's skill with the bow is amazing. It's uh, entertaining to watch. Hmm. The general oversees every part of Altago's military, including the Dragon Knights and the Navy. The general always priori prioritizes the safety of the citizen. He truly is a man of honor. Most uh, trustworthy. The general's main focus is the safety of the citizens. He is uh, worthy of trust. The European weapons you guys had cannot be returned to you. Why is that? Commander Rod took them uh, for himself, so you should just give up. If Commander Rod took your gear, you won't ever get it back. Well, it's not like European weapons are worth anything here, anyway. Just give them, uh, ju uh, just give them up. Ah. Oh. I want my pointy stick back. I'm gonna steal these instead. I cannot. Feels bad, man. Commander Chaya's service during the war was most uh, exemplary. Uh, the Romans uh, saw how quickly uh, the Romans saw how, how quickly his powerful blade cut through them and called him the Altaginian Falcon. The Romans uh, called Commander Shias the Altaginian Falcon in fear, an Altaginian Falcon in fear. He truly is a hero. That's so. Is that his uh, crib? Is that his office? Oh, where's the uh, shithead? He's not here. Yeah. This, uh, this uh, that was supposedly uh, Rod's uh, office. But he's not here at the moment. Hmm. I wonder he, where he is. Where is he? Where is he? Where, where is he? Where is he at? Yeah, that's uh, that's English. I can speak it. I hear the princess uh, snuck out of the palace again. Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. Well, I guess she's uh, the uh, uh, she's that age now. I understand why she'd uh, want to get out and have some fun. I would hate it if I had to stay in the palace all my life. I feel bad for the princess. It must be tough uh, being the princess's personal guard. The princess has a knack for sneaking out of the palace. Uh, she never takes anything lightly, so I just hope... Uh, oh, if I press R2, I can uh, remove the uh, the dialogue box. Interesting. Uh, she never takes anything lightly, so I just hope she doesn't get sick from being stressed out all the time. There are too many dragon knights uh, and workers in the palace that are uh, that are of commander of commoner background. As nobility, I can't stand it. Damn. The palace is a noble place, so the people working in it should also be noble. Even the people that uh, clean, you know, uh, you know the bathrooms. Yeah, the, your nobility should your your noble ass should clean that. For sure.
Even that came out a little bit wrong. <laughs> what? Do you mean that poor people uh, should be hired to, to clean bathrooms? Is that it? Hmm.